Hello and welcome along to Evertonian TV. This evening is just a roundup of everything from the Premier League and Everton Football Club from the week. However, like a jester to the king, there is bad news that I bring with regards to Everton. There's been some good news uh, in regards to the Premier League. However, there's been some bad news in regards to Everton. We'll start with the bad news, which is I'm sure we all know of JP Jabaman has been injured again after returning to training. As we know, we signed him uh, last summer for £25 million from Mines. He came as a pretty good looking prospect of a player under Marco Silva. He was supposedly the replacement for Drusike who left that summer. And he seemed like he was going to be a good player. Uh, he had one match for Everton against Watford. Um, it was the opening match at Goodson Park of the 1920 season. However, after that, he sustained a thigh injury that he had to undergo surgery in. And he was out for the rest of the season. In fact, it wasn't so much that the injury at first was going to be the entire season. In fact, at the time it seemed he was going to be out only for a few months, but then it seemed to have gone worse. Um, he was going to be out reportedly for another three months, a few months into his injury. Uh, that would leave him out for the rest of the season. However, he returned uh, with the lads to training, and especially considering the whole COVID-19 situation, it seemed like he was going to be able to return for the likes of the Merseyside Derby on the June 20th. However, uh, recently, uh, after returning to training, he has sustained a neuro injury that will have him out for the rest of the year, which is absolutely shocking. Supposedly, it's an ACL injury, a cruciate ligament. Uh, it was not... It wasn't a case of him being injured by another player. It was supposedly a freak accident. Apparently it happened while he was playing foot tennis with Andre Gomez. Really unfortunate. I'm absolutely gutted to hear about it. He, he only returned recently. In fact, he returned this week. He said he was uh, delighted to be back and he was stronger than ever and was ready to play football again. However, now he's going to be out for the rest of the year and this really... It's really questionable whether he's going to be able to play for Everton again. We don't know. Now, this is the time for Carlo Ancelotti to start looking at his options in midfield. Because with, with JP out for the rest of the year, who were we going to have in that midfield alongside Andre Gomez? Because Fabian Delphermey doesn't do enough. Unfortunately, he hasn't done as well as I'd hope he did when he signed for us in the summer. Tom Davis still has a lot to learn. Morgan Schneiderlin is simply not good enough. So who goes alongside Andre Gomez? Of course, we've been linked with every player under the moon, with one of those being a Gay. However, whether you believe it or not, I don't know it's, whether it's going to happen. We'd hope so. We don't know. But we need to start looking at options in the summer. We need to be looking at midfielders, whether it's on the loan or whether it's a permanent deal. We need to be looking at someone Unfortunately, JP is going to be out for the rest of the year and we do need someone uh, alongside Andre Gomez to play. And you can imagine once if Andre Gomez gets injured next season in the long term, we know he was injured this season with a fractured ankle. So if he got injured next season, what do we do? Who do we put in that midfield? Because our midfield, we haven't got that depth in midfield and... We haven't, we, we just don't have the quality in that midfield at the moment to compete against the likes of other midfields in this league. Look at Manchester United's midfield, look at Arsenal's midfield, look at Liverpool's midfield. Uh, there's so much quality in those midfields. There's a lot of depth in that midfield that Everton do not have. However, I rambled on a bit about it uh, elsewhere. Elsewhere, I'll just say this now. Uh, I wish the best for JP. Hopefully, he can come back. Hopefully, he can prove some Evertonians wrong. Hopefully, he can get into this team and really impress. I really hope so. I wish him the best. It's been a terrible year for him. In general, it's been a terrible year for all of us, but 
especially for him it's been extremely tough so I wish him the best however elsewhere the Premier League is going to return June 17th it's great news to hear that the Premier League will return on June 17th uh, it will be Sheffield United versus Aston Villa and Manchester City versus Arsenal that are going to be the first two matches to return in June. It's great news. To, it's great news to hear. We've heard that contact training has returned. We've heard now that the Premier League is going to return in just a few weeks' time. I'm absolutely delighted to hear about it. And on June twenty, on June twentieth is the Merseyside Derby. Now, the big question about the Merseyside Derby is whether it's going to be at Goodson Park or a neutral venue. The way it's currently going to work is that let's if the where Everton played the Merseyside Derby against Liverpool depends on the match between Manchester City and Arsenal. If Manchester City win or draw, most likely win. If Manchester City win against uh, Arsenal, then the match will be at Goodson Park. However, if Manchester City were to lose at Arsenal or against Arsenal, then the Merseyside Derby will be at a neutral venue, and it's been proposed that the, that neutral venue will be Wembley. So, yeah, uh, there's been a lot of news. It's been quite some week for football. It's great to hear that the Premier League is going to return. It's just really unfortunate for Everton to have another long-term injury in JP. I wish him all the best, of course. But that's all for this week. Uh, thank you all for watching the show and I'll see you all soon.